Okay, Mr. Eddie Barber here. I'm back with another 90 degree haircut. We're going to begin by sectioning this haircut just about the middle of the eyebrows. Then we're going to find the apex, which is the highest point of the head. You can find it by tipping this comb back and forth. And that's where we're going to begin our section to the back of the ears. We're going to go a little bit behind the ears here. It's going to help you out if you minimize the amount of hair you'll have to work with in the back. So again, going from the apex, going behind the ears, and I'm combing this all up. I'm taking the time to smooth it out and keep it tight so that it doesn't come undone when I get to working and I don't create a mess. I'll continue the section all the way down the back and I'm going to split it just like the blunt cut basically with that slight mohawk section in the middle. The mohawk section is going to become the guide for this entire haircut. This is the uniform haircut also known as the 90 degree haircut and it's a very common haircut for both men and women so it's a good one to know how to do especially on this length. I'll begin by cutting my guide. I'm going to decide how much I want to take off. This is again the only haircut where all the hair is the exact same length. The shape of this guideline is going to mimic the same shape as the scalp. So if I was to draw a line um, it, would, it would be basically the exact same shape as the head. It would follow the shape of the head. 90 degrees just means straight out from where it grows. So if you're careful and you recognize where it's growing to, you'll realize that I'll have to angle it slightly forward in the front and that would follow that curvature of the scalp. I'll double back on my guide, make sure I got everything and make sure it's nice and clean. I want this to be very accurate before I go any further. Once I got my guide, I'm gonna begin in that right back section. You want to keep the hair uniformly wet or uniformly dry, but you don't want this starting to dry halfway in between. I'm just using another clip here. I'm trying to work very neat so you can see what I'm doing, but I sectioned in just a piece of that area and I'm going to put it right up against my guide. I can see my guide easily through and I'll begin cutting and following the curvature of the scalp, but also I'm just following my guide. I'm not making a new one. I'm not cutting anything additionally. You can see my guide just behind the area I'm working and I'm going to make small, neat steps into each section. Following that shape. Take my next section. About a half inch. You don't want to take too much here. If you take too much here, you won't be able to see. And also your guide is going to begin to grow and it might grow to a point where you have too much hair. So you might want to slim your guide down a little bit, but make sure that you've taken enough where you can still see it well. If for some reason you have too much hair, you can get rid of some of it just like I did there. And if for some reason you can't see it, you can always lift it up horizontally like this so I can find my guide and I know that I'm in the right spot. I'm simply just following it up and following the curvature of the scalp. Again, I'm horizontally holding it out, cross-checking it, making sure that it's all nice and even. So I'm creating another guide for myself to bring into this next section. You don't need to use this other clip. I'm using this other clip because I was trying my absolute best to show you and to be as neat as possible. Again, I could easily see my guide and I'll follow the curvature of the scalp. Now this last section, it's very easy to incidentally over direct it. So you want to be careful that you're lifting it out straight from where it grows. And there's almost always going to be something to pick up when you do your cross check at the end of each section. Once I'm done, I'll cross check this entire section that I just finished. And I just want to make sure that it's even and that I didn't make any mistakes. And if I do make any mistakes, I'll go back and I'll clean them up. It's pretty common for you to make little mistakes here, but they're not really mistakes if you're catching them especially on that edge there. So now I'm able to hold it out straight from where it grows. 
and I got my guy just beside me and I know that this section is good and it's important that this section is good because when I go into the front that's going to become my guide and I need to make sure that that's even across the back on both sides. So again I'm doing the exact same thing here I'm just moving my guide back from the center and I'm coming back across this left side of her head. Taking nice small sections, working neatly. And I'm able to see it very easily. Not creating a new guide or anything like that. I'm just following the guide that I laid out for myself in the very beginning. I don't want my guide to get too big. I want to be able to have it manageable. If you ever lose your guide, just pick it up horizontally and you'll be able to find it easily. Alright, so after you finish both sides in the back, you want to take a couple minutes here and you want to go through and cross check each side for balance, make sure that they're perfect, go through, make the adjustments that you have to make. You might want to texturize it a little bit at this point. If it was a real client, you might take the time to texturize it or anything like that. But basically, you're just making sure that all the hair is the same length. You held it out vertically, now you hold it up horizontally. If you see any little mistakes, fix them up. You could take it off the stand and you could check it like this. Make sure that there's balance and that there's no long ones. And now we're on to the front. This was incredibly difficult for me to film to try to explain everything. So I, I must have filmed this like 10 times, but I just really wanted you to be able to see this part here. I'm actually working with two guides. I have my initial mohawk guide from the top, and I also have a guide that I picked up from the back and in the nape area. I'm able to work both of those guides straight down. But I can easily start from the top because that guide's really easy to see. I took the mohawk guide, and I flopped it over to that left side of the head. And you can see right there where that short hair is. I could just travel right down the side of the head with that, making sure that I stay 90 degrees straight off from where it grows, following the curvature of the scalp. And I work it forward little by little. I go back, check it. Take yourself some small sections. Make sure that they're manageable. Because I have that guide just behind there, I can easily see I can work from the top or I can work from the bottom. It does not matter. That's the great thing about working with the two guides. So now my last section, take it right from the top. And I work it down. Alright, and that's about it. You can take your mannequin off the stand, you can move it around, you can see if there's anything long or any mistakes would be easily to, easy to see just like that. You can go through, cross check the whole thing, make sure everything's even, and that's about all you got. You're usually going to have something to pick up in between where the sections meet, so when you cross check them right there, I got kind of I got kind of good there and I didn't have any mistakes there, but it's it's not uncommon for you to have some mistakes, especially where there's two sections meet cross check it just like that and let me know how it goes. I hope this video helps. See you in my next video.